Hello! Welcome back to Nigarashi Let's Play. I was. So let's just get right into it. I wasn't even excited to see those things. Takano was the only one who was enjoying the stuff. It was all her fault. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. I wasn't interested in any of those things, and I don't care about them either. And, um. <coughs> I know I'm not solving anything by complaining. Part of me realizes that defending myself is just a waste of time. But I can't stop my panic. I wasn't interested in it all from the beginning. I just wanted to see Rika's performance. But you forced me out there. I didn't care whether they were having a secret date or whether they were trying to break into that place. That's right, you're the one who urged me to go inside. You're the one who told me to see what's inside and drag me in there. It's all your fault. I didn't want any part of this. What are you going to do? What are we doing? How are you going to take this responsibility? Huh? Are you listening to me? Click. All of a sudden the phone gets cut off. What did I just say to her? She's scared, just like me. My emotional feelings disappear. And my heart is full of regret. It's too late for me to call Shion's name into the phone. What have I said to her? She was just trying to tell me what situation we are now in. I was being such a crybaby. I try to call her back, but I realize Shion lives in the house in Okinomiya. I don't know her phone number. Can't you do the redial, or don't you have that? Hmm. There's no way I can call me on and ask Shion's number. I can tell you her I didn't see her at all last night. I can't even call her back. I feel hopeless now. I hang up the phone and desperately hope for her to call me back. Please, Shion. Please call me back one more time. Ring, ring, ring! Hello? Uh -huh. This is my last chance. Is this my bar? I'm sorry for calling so late. My name is Kimi Yoshi. Isn't he the police officer? Are you the head of the household? It's the voice of an older guy. I'm disappointed. No, I'm not. I will put my father on the phone. As I try to put the phone down, he speaks up. Oh, you don't need to. I'm sorry to bother you, but somebody is someone of my family visiting your house by any chance? What? No, no one here. I see. Sorry for bothering you so late. Kimiyoshi. Excuse me. <coughs> That was odd, I don't remember that. I don't know who that was, but if it were, But what if it was Shion or just... What if Shion was just calling me? I feel so frustrated. Good grief. I need to calm myself down. I'm the one who made Shion mad because of my selfishness. But the more I think about it, the stronger I believe that she tried to call me while I was on the phone. Calm down, I hate you, my bar. If she uncalls me again, I must apologize first. I'm sure she would accept my apology. However, no matter how much I wait, the phone doesn't ring again that night. What's happening? Oh, I couldn't see the black lines because it was a black screen. <laughs> oh, there are going to be tips. <sighs> Oh my god!
<sighs> Without the meaning of Watakanishi. Hunt for a victim and then eat it. That's Watakanishi. It's extremely abnormal at the same time it's considered amusing by finding something amusing about this abnormal lack. Maybe people want to believe that they were better than other human beings. However, I found in literature which opposes this interpretation. It's something people only talked about, so I don't know if there's credibility, but it sure is interesting. According to the literature, the only Gofuchi village residents were fearful of this ceremony. Hmm. Women and children all trembled and turned white. The ones with weak stomachs threw up, yet they were forced to watch the banquet. This is extremely interesting. I always thought all of the Onigafuchi residents felt some kind of fascination for this ceremony with Wakaganishi. They confirmed their sacredness by, sacredness by this man to even eating the victim. That's what I thought. However, the village felt fear instead of fascination. The meaning of the ceremony changes completely. In other words, it was a form of punishment, a warning, so the villagers would do what the leaders wanted them to. Hmm. The three families were the ones who had total control of Onigafuchi village. To get the courage of the other blah, 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 for three shots of three families. The moon. Yeah, the scrapbooks were part of the story of the anime, but oh, they weren't, you know, we didn't read them. I think there's something like 50 of them. Oh. About the three families. <sighs> the three old families that controlled Onagakuchi village. They had a kimi Oh! Kimiyoshi, the Furude family and Sonazaki family, although they're not as powerful as they used to be, they still have enough power to be influential. I actually didn't know the name of the third family, but Kimiyoshi it seems. Maybe that name of the other cop was something different. People say that the three families are direct descendants of the demons of the, of the Yenigafuku swamp. Kimiyoshi. Kimiyoshi used to be the first among the three families, but its power has weakened nowadays. The current village leader, Kimiyoshi Kiri Kichiru, his parents must have hated him, <laughs> is from this family. Kichiru Kimiyoshi. Yoshi. Until the public election system was introduced, the Kimiyoshi family was chosen to be the village leader automatically, that's the old system. Because there were no other, there was no other candidate, he and up after the public election system began, the village leader remained to be a Kimiyoshi family member, the Furude family. This is the clan that owns the shrine and shrines of Ishiro. The family has been worshipped for the longest time as the only existence to represent Ishiro, but after the war, most of the branch families died out, leaving only the main Furude family. The main family has only one daughter, Rika Furude, so that family may be gone after this generation. There's a tradition of honouring the girls of the Furude family, and Rika be, is being worshipped by the older generation, the Sonazaki family. This, really, this family held a position similar to that of a police force in Onigashi oh, village. This was the weakest of the three families, and that's why its name is always mentioned last. However, the Sonazaki family today is thriving. In fact, it's now the family that's controlling the Mizawa nowadays. Though it's tradition for all of these three families to come to an agreement we go. The judgment is made by Oi Sonazaki. Oh, I hate these tips so much. Yeah. A phone call in the middle of the night. Yeah. 
I'm so sorry I've all of you this right. This is nice. You can be with the family, yes? Oh, hello, how you doing? It's good to hear, by the way. I'm so sorry to bother you at this time of day. But is my grandpa there by any chance? I see. Sure. Sorry to call you this again. Sorry to call you this late. Okay, thank you. Talk to you later. Click. So, nothing? Oh my. He usually calls no matter what. You called his go buddies, right? What the hell does that mean? Ring ring. Yes, Kiniyoshi residence. This is Sonazaki, so... Did you find the village leader? Oh, it's you, Mion. We've been calling everyone, but no luck. Oh, we can't find him. I don't know who else to call. I wonder where he is. We've called a few places too, but nothing. What happened to the... I talked to Grandpa and she says we should have a useful look for him at this time of day. Besides, I'm sure it's not... We aren't sure that he's in fact missing. It's right after what of an issue. She thinks we should take care of this matter rather cautiously. cautiously. If you can't find him, then we should call the police first thing in the morning. We'd rather not get the police involved in nothing we really have to do. Uh, oh, or you say that? Yes. You should not believe me, I'll have to get on the phone. Oh no, I understand. Okay, let's get to the youth group and look for him. If they can't find him, we'll call the police in the morning. Please call the leader of the youth group then. He's right over in place of grandma. And thank you. Get everyone together right away. Okay. See you later. Uh. Well, I'm just going to check. Oops, I almost forgot to start recording. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oops. Um, we got to go for 12 minutes about. Oh. Oh. There's no way I could sleep last night. I'm really tired. I realize how important she is to me as a person. She totally understands how I'm feeling right now. I was waiting desperately for she to call me back again. What if she called me while I was sleeping? But she never called me. Every time I started to go off, I jumped up to bed. Not like I heard the phone ring. I wound up talking to the phone inside my bed and slept. That didn't solve anything. Falling out, I'm sure she was calling me again. I'm oh, here, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know how you feel. Oh. Damn it. I heard how time to see. I slapped my friendship at times. Interesting to watch that thing. I still don't know the fact that I am not that teeth. What that say? You brush your teeth to help you feel refreshed rather than, you know, brushing your teeth every morning. I'm finding ways to get out. My mom is looking at me with surprise, so. Oh, go home with your cage. Are you going somewhere today? Going somewhere. Yeah, to school. Kenichi, you seem sick today. Do you have a cold? No, I just didn't get much sleep. Let me know if I start saying crazy things again. Ha 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 ha, I wonder how crazy you're going to get. I wonder how. I'm curious. Oh. I appreciate seeing you as you could fly on the first morning like this. Hey, hey, Rena. Good morning. Oh, you seem like you didn't get much sleep either. Hey, Tom, didn't you? You know, left school because of the hangover yesterday. Is she still not feeling better? Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
he's not her bright self yet. Yeah, I didn't get to bed until 3 last night. So tired, you went to bed at 3. You stayed up so late. Are you reading comic books or something? <laughs> or something? You raised eyebrows. What kind? <laughs> Oh god. Um, I tried to joke around and make her feel better. However, you know, and Renna won't smile at all. Renna suddenly shows a dark face. Were you up late as the village leader? Is he still missing? Yeah. Wait a minute. What do you mean the village leader is missing? All classroom has a strange atmosphere. Morning. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Did you be up? Something bad is going on. I don't really know who the village leader is, but he's an old guy, right? He might have dementia or something. Maybe he's just wandering around. He doesn't have dementia. He teaches Kendo and C. Suji. Don't know what Suji is. I guess he is another martial art. He's a very healthy man. Perhaps he just lost lost somewhere like me. Got lost, huh? Oh, I want to take you home. It's only really adorable when somebody like Rika gets lost. Lost old guys. <laughs> As we talk, the teacher comes into the classroom. Everyone goes back to their desk. Oh. Yeah, I'm feeling so tired. Oh, I'm gonna have to compile this video and then I'm going um, uh, I just wanna go to sleep. Oh, but I have to stay up. Everyone, good morning. Good morning. We will respond to her. And the atmosphere is still dark. I'm sure you've all heard by now. If the big leader went missing last night, is there anybody in class who saw him yesterday? A couple of students raised their hands to tell us what they saw. No, her information is crucial. If anybody sees him, we must talk to the adults. Let's begin our class now. Usual school day starts. So, yeah. I literally just fell asleep. I no, I haven't been I haven't been asleep for that long. Um, um, gotta pay attention. Ah. Ah. Students are spreading rumors during lunchtime. I hear different stories from everyone, everywhere. The majority of them are talking about the village leader. According to them, this is what happened. Last night he went to the community center by the shrine. He was meeting, the meeting was over when the sun went after the sun went down. His house lo located right outside the his house. He was away from the time he came. Uh, uh, he actually saw him on his way back, since it was like leave that he was trying to go right back home. Never, he never arrived at home, he didn't make it back home. I think this might have happened in the anime, but I can't remember vividly. Can't really remember the details of the second story arc. They looked everywhere for the irrigation channel. Channel? That is channel, right? Shouldn't they be canal? Canal! Papadurf, it's canal. To the wall were to the muddy paddy field. Perhaps they didn't find him because it was dark. Police decided to wait until it got fire. Oh, it's so crazy, eh? <laughs> 
They must be searching for him right now too. If they can't find him, and if more time passes, people will start to think of the curse. The rumor of being demoned away. Did he become the victim of the curse? Wait a minute, did they just say he had a meeting right before? Oh, that meeting. Yeah, I remember what happened, but I don't think it's revealed in this story arc. Oh yeah, that's something I should probably mention. The first four arcs are what's called the question arcs. And... And then there are these other arcs called the answer arcs, which basically explain what's, what was going on during these arcs. Don't know how to explain until we actually get to them. Do you become a victim of the curse of Oyashiro? The rumor of horrifying possibilities spreading through the village. Was he demoned away as a living sacrifice for Oyashiro? The Mipsy question mark? The classmates are saying that there has been no curse this year. Um, sorry, uh, comma, so there should be no sacrifice either, period, or full stop, but I think it's period, so I know something they don't know, trip ellipses, I know that there was a curse this year, comma, and two people died, full stop, but I have to admit I never expected the village leader would be the one, one to disappear, ellipses, their apostrophe is only one reason for that, full stop. I thought that Shion and I had the most chance of being given away, period. We took part in the breaking of the Holy Shrine storage, period. After Tomei... Tomei Take... What is that thing called? Hyphen... Uh, San and Takedo hyphen San, comma... Sorry, not comma. Wait, that's the hyphen, isn't it? Ah, no, that's a apostrophe. Uh, S. S. Mysterious death, comma. I never expected something would happen to she. I expected something would happen to she on me. Ellipses. Quotation marks. I. Apostrophe. M. Sure, she on and I are up next now. Ellipses, closing bracket. A smile wearily. I yelled at she on the phone saying that I didn't want to be part of this. That I didn't, apostrophe, want to be part of this. Oh, I forgot the comma too. God damn it. But now I, apostrophe, thinking that I was supposed to be one. It's just, yeah. Uh, let's use that swamp called Onigafuchi where they allegedly threw the living sacrifices inside. Ellipses. I bet the other villagers are thinking the same thing, ellipses. Perhaps the police drive is searching the swamp by now, ellipses. But they're probably not going to find anything there. But they're probably, but they, apostrophe, are probably not going to find any. Oh. How long have I been going? Please just tell me it's 20 minutes already. Well, goody, it's been 20 minutes. Ah, lucky for me. So, so tired and lonely. Releasing two episodes today. Bye for, bye for now, everyone. Bye.